Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, November 29th, and it is a beautiful fall day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. Just about 50 degrees, really looking like it's going to be a wonderful day, bright sunshine. Uh, going to try to do some outdoor stuff, getting ready for uh, putting up Christmas decorations. Got my little Phil Rivara right here. I've had various opinions on what the shape actually is. I think it's probably apple-ish enough to call it a small apple. Uh, and I'm going to share with you my last bowl of Thanksgiving Day. Uh, might not even have enough to make a full bowl here. But we'll pour it in. Oh, we might even have a little extra. Let's see. Yeah, I do this thing every year where I um, create a blend out of the last bowl's worth of each blend, but Thanksgiving Day is a little bit too much on the aromatic side uh, for me to include in that blend. I don't put any aromatics in it. Uh, it it's, hard, it's hard for me to call it an aromatic because the flavors are very natural. You know, there's not any chemical flavoring, but it definitely has this cinnamon, anise, uh, something going on there. So I don't put Thanksgiving Day into that blend so I can smoke the last bowl with you. Uh, I'll miss it. It was good this year. But you know, I was saying, I think it was Friday night I was saying, that there's there's something special about you know oh it's October at the end of this month it'll go on sale I can order it uh, you worry about them running out before you get your order and that's never happened I think they'd still have it for sale for all I know you uh, you get your order you wait for it it arrives first week of November and you, and you, you you open it up and you smoke it for the first time and you're like, oh, it's better than last year. Oh, it's not the same as last year. It's always good. And then you spend the month of November smoking it. Um, you know, it becomes your daily smoke and you're, you're surprised, at least I'm talking for myself now, surprised when you get to the end of November and it's all gone because you thought, wow, four ounces of tobacco, that's going to last me a while. Um, it's part of the ritual, you know, it's part of this, the holiday season. It's kind of like the first step in, in the holiday season to me, and I, I enjoy it. So it's sad when it's gone, but it, it just means that we're, we're moving forward, and such is life. Rituals are important, whether they be long protracted rituals like I just described, or um, short, you know, I got to lay out my tobacco on a, on a plate and let it dry for 10 minutes before I smoke it. You know, some people insist on that. Other people, like me, never do it. But it's part of your ritual. And rituals are important. They're important in life in general as well, not just pipe smoking. You know, and that's why we have um, religious services and, and holidays and, and observations. You know, that, that's the whole point. Whether it be a religious holiday like Christmas or a secular holiday like the 4th of July, the, the reason that exists is for ritual. And yeah, it's an important part of our life. It'd be interesting to go through a day and just make note of all the rituals that you might engage in just I'm not talking about anything I'm talking about a daily ritual part of your daily routine you know do you do you pray every morning do you pray every evening um, do you always say so I'll tell you mine I always say good morning to the dogs and let them out in the yard and I, I step out on the patio and I see what the weather's like and then I come in 
and I will start making coffee. And that's that's my ritual. You know, it's not. It doesn't have to be. You know, I'm burning incense and sacrificing a. I don't know. Ox. Uh, <laughs> not likely to have many oxen around. Um, it doesn't have to be that. It can be something as simple as I always say good morning to my dogs when I get up because my wife sleeps later than me. I'd obviously say good morning to her if she were awake. How many things have we ritualized that we don't even realize we ritualized? You know, the simple things like if you if you fill your your zippo do you always take it apart before you reach for the can of, of fluid or do you get the can of fluid down first and then get the zippo out the part um, I mean I guess you could call these things routines and they are routines but when we begin to ascribe significance to them the routine becomes a ritual you know, to me, it's significant that I, the first thing I do when I come downstairs after, after a night of sleep is I say good morning to my dogs. And I, I do it intentionally. You know, I, it's something I've been doing for many, many years. That's important. Um, it's not important that I put my uh, slippers on before I walk down the steps. You know, that's a routine, but it doesn't have any real significance other than I don't want my feet to be cold. I think you get the point. Actually, there wasn't a point. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm getting a bit rambly here, but... Beautiful weather. Ah, Christmas decorations. That's what got me on all this. Well, Christmas decorations and Thanksgiving. So, yeah, we're going to have to decorate. Um, you know, it's... It's required by marital law and uh, such as life. If it were up to me, I would have one light up wreath that I'd put in the front window and plug in, and I'd say, Oh, the house is decorated. But, you know. So I will get the leaf blower out this afternoon, and I'll do one more pass around the front of the house. I'm blowing out our there's an evergreen that my wife likes to decorate and there's also some shrubs that she puts lights on and she's very allergic to pollen so just give those a blow out and um, you know try to try to get the pollen away and, and any leaves that are hanging around in there uh, just make it look nice and then she's gonna start stringing lights I, I let her you know I help her but she's got the the idea in her head and anything I try to do just winds up sounding like I don't want to do the work so I just let her go and I sort of let her tell me what to do and it's not too bad if you get it done early enough I mean we've we've done it some years where it got so late that there was snow and ice and everything and I'm out there freezing cold and she's saying no move it a little bit to the left you know <laughs> trying to get these these stakes that are intended to hold down one of those inflatable things keep it from blowing down the street and you have to drive it into the ground at an angle and yeah, the things are made out of like coat hanger wire and like bending and everything freezing I'm trying to do it wearing gloves and I don't have the dexterity I'm sure you guys have all been through this And the absolute worst part of it is taking it down, because then it's much colder. And uh, uh, if, you, if you're not careful with it, you're going to have a nightmare next year when you go to put it back up. But when she's all done, it does look pretty. And, you know, for a couple of weeks, I can sit back and enjoy it and, and know that people are Driving by or walking by or, or getting some Christmas spirit. That's that's a good thing. She goes a little crazy inside the house. We won't talk about that. You know, if we had kids, it would be a different thing. But it's just the two of us. And 
when I lived alone, I, I never, never decorated for Christmas, and that was sad in a way. You know, I, I well, I got, I would hang up Christmas cards if I got them. That was my my decoration, but that was enough for me. I, I didn't need anything else. Um, but she likes to do it up. She likes to. We, we we used to get real trees. We decided to get a an artificial one a few years back, and uh, you know, that's got its challenges as well. All those numbered parts need to go together. You know who puts them together? Well, this video will very likely get me into trouble, so. I'm going to stop talking before I get into even more. Um, yeah, I, I, want to, I want to be able to get through Christmas without uh, getting hit on the head with a frying pan. My wife would never do that. Thanks for joining me for this uh, pointless ramble. I do appreciate it. I hope you're all having a wonderful Sunday and looking forward to a great week ahead. This coming Friday, we have Art from Artie's Place, who's going to be on the, uh, the live stream, and I'm really looking forward to that. Art is uh, the most positive man on YouTube, and we need some positivity these days, so greatly looking forward to chatting with him. So uh, check that out Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. I may or may not make a Wednesday video this week. We'll see how things go. And with that, guys, I'm going to let you get back to your Sunday. So you all have a great time. Take care. And until we speak again, I look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.